And in a first on Fox Business, Republican Kansas Senator Roger Marshall is announcing new legislation today at 3 p.m. Eastern to stop airlines from transporting illegal migrants into the United States. Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee member leading the charge, Senator Marshall, joins us now. Great to see you. Thank you for joining us. Tell us more about this bill and how much support you think you can get for it. Well, look, uh, Last year alone, some 300,000 people were flown into this country by Joe Biden under the auspices of parole. When they get to this country, they're using their CBP-1 app in lieu of a driver's license or a passport to board the plane. I think that's subjecting Americans uh, to significant dangers, that these people are not being vetted the same as ours. So we're trying to put an end to that. As far as uh, support for it, I'm afraid it'll be the usually cast of characters and that Republicans will support it. Democrats won't because they do not want border security. They like this CBP-1 app, which greases the skids to get more people into this country illegally. Senator, um, let me ask you about the classic debate between Democrats and Republicans right now. The Democrats will say, well, we need more immigration in this country, and the Republicans are not working on comprehensive reform with us, and, and that's the problem. But yet, in the Senate, every time the Republicans bring up an amendment that they want to push through, Chuck Schumer fights them on it. Um, so we're in the situation that we're in, and, and then we've opened up the southern border to allow people in illegally. How do you get out of this mess? Well, we need somebody different in the White House for starters. To your point, I'm not sure Congress will ever address this, but we know that President Trump will address it and he will secure our borders immediately. But look, I've been serious about fixing a broken immigration system. It was one of the first things I tackled when I came to Congress. But look, we've got to secure the border first. There's no way the American people are going to accept any type of new immigration reform unless we secure the border. Again, 10 million people cross the border illegally under Joe Biden, we need to secure the border first, and then glad to continue that discussion about fixing a broken immigration system. And you're right, we have a worker shortage in Kansas, especially in the agriculture industry. Senator, we learned on Saturday that President Biden regretted calling Lake and Riley's alleged murder an illegal. We're now getting reports that an aide of his is saying, no, no, he never apologized for calling that alleged murder an illegal. We are so focused on words right now, Senator, that I think we are miles away from ever addressing the policy. This president is being buffeted by the winds of politics. It's a very bad sign in my view. Yes, so we have a president more focused on words than he is on leadership. And again, my sympathy goes out to Lakin Riley and her family. Uh, and, and the 300 people that died today from fentanyl poisoning, the 300 that died yesterday, the 300 are going to die tomorrow. But yet this president sleeps at night. How he, he sleeps, I have no idea. But it all comes back to securing the border. And the president has no intention of securing the border. He wants just the opposite. He wants to grease the system mm -hmm. with this CBP-1 app. Senator, thank you so much. Really appreciate your comments here. Thank you.